Hello everyone. Get ready to explore the world of gradients in CSS today. If you have ever seen a rainbow in your life then this is a concept that you will easily relate to. If you haven't, then you need not worry as this tutorial will cover the concepts in depth. Let us directly move to an already created HTML file along with a CSS document which has been linked already. If you have any issues in understanding how to create HTML or CSS files and link them, kindly watch the previous tutorials for reference and come back to this tutorial. We name the title as TLA 30.1. We then create a and empty division tag inside the body tag and name it with a class called container. The idea is to make this container fit the entire screen width and height. This will ensure that we can easily see the graphics on the full screen. We now move on to the CSS section. As we have seen previously, we start with setting all padding and margin to 0 pixels and box sizing to border box using the asterisk selector. We then target the class container using the dot notation. We first set the width as 1302 pixels and height as 664 pixels. Kindly note that these sizes are subject to variation as per the specification of your systems hence use these values accordingly. Once this is done, it is just the matter of directly applying gradient to the division. Firstly, let us apply the linear type of gradient. For this, we use a property called background image. Set this to linear gradient. First set the angle in degrees as shown. In this case, the angle is set as 45 degrees. Then set the colors of your choice separated by commas as shown. Kindly note that in this case, we have taken only two colors, red and blue. But it's totally fine if you want to use more colors separated by commas. Let us run this in live server and check how this gradient looks on the entire screen. There it is. It looks wonderful, isn't it? You can play with the angle values and color combinations to create your own custom designs. Let us now see what a radial gradient looks like. Let me first comment out the linear gradient property as shown. Let us again set the background image as radial gradient. We can set color of our choice here. Let us take red and blue again so that the difference between the previous gradient and this one becomes clear. Let us run this on the live server and check out. There it is. We can clearly see that the distribution of the colors is more radial compared to previous case. In previous case, the colors were linearly distributed at a pre-specified angle. You may use multiple colors here as well but don't forget to use comma separation. Congratulations! You have learnt an important concept today. Use it to create your own cool gradient designs.